Hello everybody, it's Anna here again today and today we are at Garen Bodian, which is an iron age hill fort and hill near an Evin on the Llyn Peninsula in North Wales and the Llyn Peninsula is known as an area of outstanding natural beauty. So we're here today to learn a little bit about this hill fort. There we are in the picture is the hill fort and um, we're going to learn some history on this and maybe some Welsh language if we have some time. So come along and join us. You are very, very welcome. Don't forget welcome in Welsh is Croeso. So here we are. Here is uh, all of the description about Garen Bodian. Now Garen Bodian is one of the largest ancient forts in the whole of the British Isles and it's on the summit here and we are heading up to it and as we go up um, I'm speeding up the video so that you can see more of what is around and the track which is very very steep and quite narrow in places I've speeded up the video so that you can see more of where we're going and as we go up to the summit of the fort you will see lots of stones that have um, fallen which are the roundhouses and there are approximately a hundred of these roundhouses up on this hill which you'll see as we go past so when you see lots of like um, stones and bricks and I'm looking at them you'll know that they are the, um, the remains of the old roundhouses I want to say that Garin Bodian is a scheduled monument and this monument is of national importance for its potential to enhance our knowledge of prehistoric settlement and defence and it retains significant archaeological, archaeological, I struggle with this word, significant archaeological potential. English is terrible, with a strong probability of the presence of associated archaeological features and deposits. The structures themselves may be expected to contain archaeological information containing chronology and building techniques. And the scheduled area comprises the remains described and areas around them within which related evidence may be expected to survive. So it's a very, very important place. So our goal today is heading up to the Iron Age Hill Fort. And on our way up, like I said, you will see remains like here of stones that have fallen that are the remains of the roundhouses. There's another one coming up now. So when you see these, you know what they are. But we're heading up to the Hill Fort and a survey in the 1950s found traces of over 170 roundhouses identified on this site. And now there are around about 100 of these roundhouse remains still visible on the ground, which we've seen quite a lot of on our way up here. And between 100 and 400 people may have lived in the fort itself. Now, um, yes, let's, let's move on. I'm speeding up here so you can see what it's like on the way up. So here we are now just arriving at the top. And um, because we went, it was only last week. Um, it's the summer months, um, obviously. And um, we had to watch out for snakes adders in uh, the uh, the well here everywhere basically um, but um yes we didn't really uh, take much notice of that we were too excited to be finding um the hill fort anyway i digress then um, garden bandian is um the la one of the largest ancient iron hill forts in britain as i said and it covers about 10 hectares in size altogether up here at the top you'll see a small stone circle enclosure um, or citadel which possibly belongs to a later period of occupation even as late as the 7th century. Here we are now at this place that I'm talking about. 
uh, a single fragment of pottery from the 2nd century AD and beads which could date from any time between the 1st and 7th century were found here at this part. What I will add though is um, we, we were quite surprised at how overgrown and it's nobody's fault all of the heather around here was that we couldn't quite really see as much of the roundhouses and huts and things as we'd hoped for really um, because of the growth of all the vegetation uh, as I guess we call it so that was uh, a shame but up here there's, there's quite a lot to see and what's fascinating as you've probably seen we are right at the summit now of uh, the hill hillfort and from up here it's fascinating that you can see a 360 view of the whole of the clean peninsula and like i've said before in in previous videos as well the clean peninsula is an area of outstanding natural beauty and from here you can see over to Morven Evin which we're going down to and having lunch down there um, shortly and you can see Snowdonia and you can see right the way around the whole of the, the clean peninsula it's absolutely stunning and um, it's it's about a, I guess about a 90 minute walk up maybe we didn't really time it so I'm, I'm sad to say but um, it, it really is quite steep and, and quite um, uh, strenuous in part because it was a very hot day when we went. But as you can see, um, absolutely brilliant being up here and seeing all around and being um, walking on history, really. Apparently, it's about 279 metres high, which think it's approximately 915 feet so that's what we walked and so it I think it took us about 90 minutes each way maybe and this fort was uh, like I said once home to about 170 roundhouses it's a huge fort and um, only about a hundred remain to be seen where you can see them when they're not covered in um, ferns and things and heather. So Garen Vodian shows two periods of Iron Age construction followed by a small fort of late Roman or post-Roman date. During the 1950s selective excavations were made here on behalf of the Royal Commission on Ancient Monuments in Wales continuing a programme of investigation designed to clarify the history of this fort. And Garen Bodian, well Bodian translates as residence of Bian, a legendary character who possibly lived in the 7th century. At the highest point at 279 metres, the stone ramparted enclosure or citadel dates from around this time too. There was a serious forest fire about 25 years ago and it's left a, a real surreal landscape with numerous dead trees scattering the plateau which you've probably noticed as I've walked around on the way up and you'll see as we go down and the uh, the views from the top up here are amongst the finest on the clean peninsula and i said earlier you can see the whole of the clean peninsula as you circle around up here at the top and also the mountains of snowdonia and anglesey and the walk that we took takes you along a forest track up through woodland and then the path winds its way up steeply getting progressively narrower to this impressive fort up here at the top. Like I said it is an Iron Age hill fort situated on a steep isolated volcanic hill to the south of Nevin surveyed during the 1950s and um, of which indicates it was once a large settlement that may have housed hundreds of people. The fort's defences were basic, probably because the site is in a natural defensive location. 
There's a lower stone rampart and an upper one, but it is uncertain at what time they were constructed. The site has two freshwater springs which would have provided water for the residents all year round and access is through a forestry track, like I said, and the terrain is quite difficult. So that's um, some history of the um, the fort up here. Let's see if we can do a little bit of Welsh language. Uh, see, in Welsh is more. Stones is cerig. Grass is glasswelt or gwaer. Hill is brin. Flowers is blood dye. Stones is cerig. And there is myself, and to say there is Anna in Welsh is my Anna, my Anna. And there is me sitting, and to say Anna is sitting in Welsh is my Anna and Eistedd. Shoes in Welsh is a skidiau, and rucksack is sach deithio. And mountain is mynydd. And that's it for today. We'll leave it there and we'll say ta-ta for now from Garen Bodian and we'll see you soon. Don't forget to keep practicing your Welsh because practice makes perfect. We'll see you on the next Welsh language lesson or the next Welsh history lesson. We'll both together. Ta-ta for now. Nostar.